Oh, Bear and Movie Guy doing a Christmas video. Let's get into it. Brought to you about a Bear and Movie Guy. Hey, so, um, I love Christmas. I love Christmas movies. And uh, I haven't gotten to watch that many this year. Um, life was very hectic for my family. More than me. I, I could have watched a ton if I just wanted to sit there and watch Christmas movies by myself. But I really didn't. Um, so I've been on a Charles Bronson kick. But that's neither here nor there. But um, there are a couple movies uh, that we watch routinely um, that not everyone knows about. We watched two of them this year. We haven't watched the other one, but we watched it last year. So I'm going to just give them to you. And uh, if you don't know about them, I highly recommend watching them. Um, I'm not doing full reviews. I'm just going to give you a kind of plot synopsis. So first one that I recommend uh, that you might not have heard of is called Why You Were Sleeping. It's a Sandra Bullock movie. Uh, it's about a woman who's single and kind of lonely, and she sees the same guy every day get on the train, and she's kind of in love with him, but she doesn't know him. And then through happenstance, she saves his life, and he for, and, and accidentally people think that she's his fiance. And then he, his family, which is awesome, gets kind of like brings her into the family, and he doesn't recognize her, so they all think he has amnesia. But meanwhile, she doesn't know how to tell them that she's not. She doesn't even know him. She just knows like sees them every day. It's a misunderstanding comedy and it's heartwarming. Uh, Sandra Bullock and Bill Pullman's in it too. He's kind of like the other, he's the other brother who at first doesn't trust her at all. Um, and then kind of falls for her. It's, it's a fantastic feel good movie. I highly recommend, uh, you know, while you were sleeping, I don't know what services you can watch it on, but if you can get a chance to watch it, uh, watch it. Second, the Bishop's wife. Now, uh, the Bishop's Wife is an older movie with Cary Grant and David Niven. And it's it's all about a bishop who at Christmas time, he's trying to build this cathedral. He used to be just a regular preacher, and then he got bumped up to being a bishop, and now he has all these problems with being a bishop. And him and his wife and their, their daughter don't get to spend as much time together and stuff. And he calls out in a prayer for help, and Cary Grant, who's an angel, is sent to help him. And he thinks he's there to help him build the cathedral, but really that's not what he was helped for. And you've, it, it is, the word charming cannot be overused when it comes to this movie and Cary Grant in it. Um, he's just so freaking charming and just so likable. And uh, he's this angel called Dudley and he just makes everyone happy except David Niven, who's the, pat, who's the bishop, <laughs> who, who just wants him to go away, even though he called for help and stuff. It is funny, it is sweet, and just is just pretty wholesome overall, um, but a charming film. Now, it got remade. Um, it's an older film, so it's in black and white. It got remade. The Bishop's Wife turned into The Preacher's Wife, which was remade with Denzel Washington in the role of Dudley, um, and uh, Whitney Houston as the, the wife, and I'm, I'm not sure, I can't remember who the, uh, the pastor was, the preacher was. Same story, uh, just modern update. Um, more black focused, obviously, because like most of the cast is about a black church compared to like a white church. It's fine. Um, I I've seen it and I liked it, but if I'm ever gonna watch one of the two, I'm always gonna watch The Bishop's Wife because it's way more charming. Um, as great as Denzel is, the the movies like because they had Whitney Houston, they they changed certain things to make it much more song oriented. Um, but yeah, The Bishop's Wife is on Amazon Prime and a few other things it's it's highly recommendable i love it and uh it's just a charming movie lastly today i watched a movie that i've watched probably the fourth time um which is impressive considering it was only made in 2019 uh and if you don't know it's claws or klaus claus k k l a u s claus and um it's it's about santa and it's about how he, he's the whole thing started. Now, it's a Netflix movie, so if you don't have Netflix, you can't really get it. But this is a film. It's, it's animated. It's an interesting animation style. Uh, first time I saw it, I watched half an hour, half, uh, half an hour of it uh, for work and then, and then had to walk away because of work finishing for that day. And I eventually went back to it. So it starts out very not Christmassy and because and, it's all about how Santa became Santa. And how a postman is the one that kind of kicked it all off. And if it wasn't for this postman, Christmas wouldn't be Christmas like we know it now. 
Um, it is without a doubt, one of the most heartfelt, um, just make you tear up movies about the difference one person can make and, and a selfless act that one selfless act will encourage other selfless acts, which encourage other selfless acts and how one person can change a community massively. Uh, it is fantastic. Oz is, is just, it's, it is so good. The voice cast is great. In particular, Santa is JK Simmons and it's got a, it's got a really good voice cast, but it's just really every every year. When I first saw it, I was like, Oh, that's a fun movie. That's like a 3.5. And then I watched it again. That was like a four. I watched it today. Me and, me and Zion watched it. And, uh, and I touched my screen there for a minute. Sorry. I'm still need a little battery. Um, we watched it today and it is fantastic. And every time I watch it, it goes up. And, and so it's a five star, five out of five. Great Christmas movie. Great movie. And I can't highly recommend it enough. If So if you're looking for three films, While You're Sleeping, The Bishop's Wife, and Klaus. Um, I hope you watch them. If you do, let me know. If you've already seen them, let me know. I'd love to uh, just reach out. And either way, Merry Christmas. You have an awesome Christmas. And uh, I hope that you get to celebrate your Christmas traditions and get to do all your fun stuff. But uh, yeah, these are three ways to really celebrate Christmas. So Merry Christmas. And see you at home safely. Okay. Merry Christmas.